Hi there! Because of the beautiful weather here in California, oranges grow just about everywhere. We get so many varieties of oranges, such as Neville, Valencia, Blood Oranges, Tangerine, and even Kumquats. Kumquats are these adorable little healthy oranges, sweet and sour taste, which produces an unusual refreshing flavor. The earliest historical reference to kumquats appears in literature of China in the 12th century. Today, I'm gonna make one of a kind orange marmalade. You will never forget. First step, wash citrus fruit thoroughly. For the kumquats, remove stems and cut into four pieces and remove seeds with the tip of your knife or using your thumb. It is time consuming but easier than you think. And yet, you can use CV oranges or bitter oranges if you wish instead. For more, go to brunoskitchen.net. Once done, save all the juice left behind and pass it along with the seeds. Next, add the zest of two oranges and two lemons. Remove the pith and cut into thin strips. Or use a citrus zester to save time. You can also grate it, but look, it is going to look just like that. Next, flatten each vanilla bean, split, scrape the seeds out and cut the pods in half so then it will fit into the jar. Cut, squeeze and drain oranges over the mixture and mix it up. By the way, I voluntarily cut back in sugar in this recipe and it came out just perfect. Cover the fruits with sugar and refrigerate for 24 hours. Guys, 24 hours have passed. Let's see what it looks like. It already smells. It's insane. Bring this awesome mixture to a boil and cook on medium heat until it has reached 230 degrees Fahrenheit, 1 in 10 Celsius, if using a candy thermometer. It should take about 45 minutes. To test the marmalade after 40 minutes or so, place a small bowl over ice water and drop some liquid. It should be slightly gelled and will wrinkle a bit when you slide your finger through. By the time your jam is cooking, clean up and sterilize your jars and lids in a 300 degrees Fahrenheit, 150 degrees Celsius oven for 20 minutes or more. Then carefully ladle hot marmalade into jars up to the top. Then wipe jar rims clean with a damp towel. Place lids on jars, screw on rings. Flip jars and allow to cool for 12 hours at room temperature. I normally spoon my marmalades on morning toast or crumpets. Not to mention that this bitter orange marmalade is heavenly good with aged cheeses. Guys, I hope you have enjoyed this spectacular marmalade episode. Please subscribe, like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter, Instagram and Pinterest. <laughs> ciao, ciao.